I'm here with head women's soccer coach Emily Sheese as we get ready for year two of women's soccer here at Cal Maritime. Coach, here we go, our first interview of 2019. Uh, compare and contrast going into season two. What feels a little bit different in comparison to the inaugural season at this stage? Um, well, I think last year the girls as a whole, no one had ever played in the intercollegiate games and they didn't quite know what to expect. So now our returners, which we have a roster of 12 returning, uh, know what the game's about, know the pace at which it's played, right? have an idea for how competitive it is. So. Uh, they have that experience going in and can actually help impart it to the underclassmen. Last year, nobody had any idea right. what to expect besides me. Uh, so um, I'm excited that they come with that knowledge this year. Now, an earlier start to your season this year, pros and cons of that. What are some of the advantages and the challenges of getting an earlier start by almost a month in comparison to last year? Yeah, looking back at the calendar, I'm, I'm a little uh, flabbergasted that I scheduled a game this early. <laughs> But um, what's interesting about our school and just the recruiting process is, you know, we have some new recruits that are here this year that we're excited about, and we got a lot of interest from, okay. from walk-on. So that's always a challenge, right, at the beginning of a year, starting earlier to get everybody, you know, cleared and through what they need to to be able to compete. Um, but, you know, we did what we could and, and uh, got almost 18 folks ready, so we're excited about that. Um, a benefit of having earlier games is just, you know, being more experienced by the time you set off yeah. into your conference game. So, like last year, I think we played one match um, before yeah. conference started. This year, we'll have about four. Uh, you know, four games to to suit things out. So, I'm excited about that potential and just to get them ready. Uh, you know, for the Cal Pack by being having you know over 360 minutes on the field together. You know. You mentioned some newcomers this year, uh, a roster at 18 right now that'll go up to 20 with a couple more mm -hmm. eligibilities cleared. Uh, tell us a little bit about the newcomers that we should look out for this season. Yeah, so um, we recruited a goalkeeper from Orange County named Maddie Dack. Uh, she played for Patiodorus, for Paul Caligiuri. Um, great coach, right? great program down there at Patiodorus. So uh, you know, she's about 5'11", tall, flies, so we're super excited to see her in there. Um, she's going to be stepping in for Vanessa Pena, who's a captain from last year's returners, um, who's also a really great field player. So Vanessa's going to be stepping out into our center midfield this year, and we're going to be seeing her play a different role on the field, which will be exciting as well. Yeah. So that's not a newcomer, but new in the position yeah. she'll be in. Um, and then we also uh, recruited a striker and winger from Sacramento area that played for uh, Union FC. and. Um, MPL one league out there, so we're super excited about Caitlin Gibson yeah. to start making some contributions on the wing uh, and at striker, uh, and we'll see where we go from there. We also kind of had a surprise diamond in the yeah. rough uh, appear in one of our transfer students. Um, we're still trying to get her cleared, uh, but Capri Valdez should should be looked at once she steps out onto the field. We're excited about having her out there as well. Well, Coach, thanks for your time. Yeah. Looking forward to this season. Best of luck, and thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we'll see you at games, everybody.